There's a fairly famous little poem that begins with these words. Disappointment, his appointment. Change one letter, then I see that the thwarting of my purpose is God's better choice for me. His appointment must be blessing, though it may come in disguise, for the end from the beginning open to his wisdom lies. Disappointment, his appointment, no good thing will he withhold. From denials oft we gather treasures of his love untold. Well he knows each broken purpose leads to fuller, deeper trust, and the end of all his dealings proves our God is wise and just. There's a little verse in Job 23, verse 14, variously translated in the ESV, it says this, For he will complete what he appoints for me, and many such things are in his mind. As the psalmist says, considering the Lord's thoughts, your thoughts towards me are more than I can number, thoughts of good and not of evil. God is constantly thinking of ways to encourage us and bless us and use us for his glory and maximize our service in the lives of a multitude of people. If we would allow him, and many times what seems to be a thwarting of our plans is actually the working out of his plans. And we need to trust him more. When things seem to fall apart, remember, he holds everything together. It only falls apart from our point of view, but everything falls into place as far as he is concerned. So let's, let's trust the Lord. Well, back in 1996, I think, I was contacted by the family of Vernon Schlieff. He had uh, gone to New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, I think in 1942, arrived there with $25 in his pocket and uh, had remained faithful in serving the Lord there all through the years until this time, 1996, when he was soon to pass into the presence of the Lord. And his family said, we have his autobiography. Is there any way you can get it published very quickly before he goes to heaven? Well, we got the manuscript. Um, we stayed up nights, typesetted, designed the cover, got it to the printer, and got a copy to him within a matter, I think, of about two weeks or less. Turned the whole book around in a very short order. And uh, we thank the Lord for the team there, those who did the proofreading and all the work that needed to be done to get it out. This is the book, the story of Vernon Schlieff. And it's full of great little illustrations, great stories. Our great adventure in faith. Well, in the book, we read that they had... Uh, felt the Lord led them to open a serviceman center, and it was greatly used by the Lord during the Second World War. And it was quite a large operation, and um, Vernon tells the story how at one point they were desperately in need of a thousand dollars, which was a huge amount of money in those days. And he says one Saturday about four o'clock he was awakened to pray, he normally was a, a night owl, a spending time with the servicemen, but on this occasion he needed to pray. And uh, he told the Lord how they needed the money, went through all of the accounts. These are the obligations we have. And he said, the Lord's told us uh, we shouldn't owe anything to anyone except love, and we wanted to honor him. We wanted it to be a good testimony. He said, we had no credit cards. We had no credit rating. We couldn't find a $1,000 loan at any bank. We really were shut up to the Lord to provide the funds. He said, at noon, I returned empty-handed from the post office. And I know the feeling of having a desperate need, going to the post office or to the post box, the mailbox, and be disappointed. And the Lord whispering in our ears, not even the unbelievers trust the postal system. Trust me. Anyway, he returns back, and he finds his wife, Gladys, um, says she was all smiles. And uh, she explained that a Christian lady had come into the servicemen center and said she wanted to help in this valid ministry, taken out a checkbook and written 
a check for $500. It was a huge amount in those days. And they were just rejoicing, but at the same time, Lord, um, thanks for the 500, but we need a thousand. And shortly thereafter, the woman came back into the office and she asked for her check back and she tore it in pieces in front of their eyes. Oh no. Had they been so ungrateful, unthankful, because it wasn't a thousand dollars that the Lord was rebuking them for this? But the woman took out her checkbook again and said that as she had been walking down the street, the Lord had impressed upon her the fact that she had written the wrong amount on the check. And this time she wrote a check for a thousand dollars. Disappointment? His appointment. Then I see that the thwarting of my purpose is God's better choice for me. May the Lord encourage us all to realize he will complete what he appoints for me. And many such things are in his mind. God loves to bless. And we need to get out of the way with our own plans because his plans are so much better than ours.